Happy Homebrew Wednesday. It's Larabo 22, and it's Wednesday, and uh, I am on my home way back from uh, Connecticut. I'm in Delaware right now, and I still got about four hours to go. I'm going to stop right around uh, uh, Dogfish Brewery, and uh, my mom lives right around there, so I'm not stopping at Dogfish this time, uh, but uh, I am uh, going to stop and see my mom. So this past weekend, I had a day off while I was up there, and up in Connecticut, and I went to a brewery in Hartford, or right outside of Hartford, and uh, it was the Thomas Hooker Brewery. So did a, it's a really small place. They've really maximized the whole area. I mean, the place is full of fermenters, and uh, they got a, a couple, uh, I think one boiler, but they're they're brewing all the time. So I've got some footage I'm gonna throw on after this, and uh, I think that's about it. I'm gonna be posting uh, the rest of the uh, kind of like the montage of uh, the SJ Poor experiments, but that will be. I'm not gonna post that as a Homebrew Wednesday because I think I cheated y'all out of uh, hearing me talk. <laughs> How about that? So I am out of here, and I will see you guys next week. And uh, I'll be home for a couple weeks, and then I'll let you know. I'm going to do a, a little contest, whatever, uh, but I'll let you know about that probably next week. Okay? I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Larry Road 22, and I'm here in right outside of Hartford. I'm at uh, the Thomas Hooker Brewery. So it looks really small. So, we're going to go in and check it out. I had to drive through some bad neighborhoods to get here. <laughs> and walking up to the side entrance. Diuretic 
than most people. Uh, helps you digest, has that coffee effect, you know, know that. So we don't want a lot of yeast in the beer, because people probably wouldn't drink as much of it. Uh, we do take some of it off the bottom as it pours out. We have a lab in the back, we take it back and test it for strength. Because the yeast is alive, we reuse it 15 to 17 times over and over again. A lot of reuse here. Um, so that's the fermentation process. That's the scary science plan. This over here is the filter. There's the keg washer. Oops. Here's keg town. The keg cooler. This place is pretty small, but look at. I mean, they have maximized their space. They say they keep on bringing stuff in. It's awesome. Here's where they keep the grains. They got the grain mill right here. They dump it in up there. And there's their auger. Right there's the boiler. Getting to fill the Oktoberfest. That's awesome. Here's the bottling operation. And it's right beside the growler room. It's pretty freaking awesome. You get to watch everything.